Hi, John Capobianco here, and today I'm going to be exploring a new extension that I've made for Gemini CLI. Please watch my extensions video. Extensions are great for people like me because I have MCPs and scripts and slash commands and all this stuff. I just package it all up, describe it in a JSON file with some maybe some bash scripts. I'll explain all this later in the video, but for now, let's get into it. I've thought if I can get my webcam to take images and a stream of images, why not the desktop? So I'm introducing slash screen share as an extension, as a slash command, as an MCP, all those things inside of Gemini CLI. Now, this is where I'm gonna start, it's on my Twitter page. But now let's go into Gemini-Y for YOLO mode. And I'm gonna do slash MCP and you can see that I have a screen share from screen share. So from the extension and it has these tools. Let's do a capture first. Um, actually, let's start with devices just to show you that we can actually even do a help. And this will help describe how to use this extension. Uh, help, it should just, got it. I understand how to use these commands and the subcommands. I'm ready. All right, we'll have to work on the slash help. But what I want to do is screen share devices and show you that it's going to pick up a virtual and a physical device, my monitor, my screen, and the dimensions. So let's do a capture with a device index of one. All right, the physical. Now we're gonna switch over to my Twitter and we're just gonna sit here, but if we hover, we can see it doing things. Okay, now it should be done and it is done and we're gonna let it finish. But what happens is it checks the status of the monitor. It checks that it's ready to go. It takes the screenshot and then it passes it along with a default prompt of what can you tell me about this capture to a shell command. The shell command is actually spawning. Um, now look at this, look. Here's a screenshot of the X, formerly Twitter, profile page of John Capobianco. Here are some key details from the image. Profile, it's got all my profile stuff. Location, website, joined stats, content, pinned post, recent post. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Isn't that crazy? Okay, and now that's just from, from a single capture. So let's actually do something a little more fun and do a screen share stream with the duration of, let's shorten the duration. That was 15 seconds. Uh, let's leave it at 15 seconds with a prompt of, of transcribe what this user is doing, please be verbose. So it's gonna transcribe what it sees. So we're gonna hit enter and we're gonna to try to just keep an eye on this and be ready to go. All right, so it's screen sharing. All right, hello world. Gemini CLI is watching me post this X post. Amazing. Watch the video for more. John Capobianco post. And then we're going to look at that post. Now I'm going to try to hover All right it's still recording okay it's done all right so here we go so now i will execute the command to analyze the screenshots and transcribe the user's actions and we can see hopefully it captured me making that tweet 
So now it's going to process that using the shell command. And let's see what it says. Oh, let's see what happens here. This is really exciting for me, by the way. This is a whole new modality, a screen sharing modality, a true co-pilot, co-worker, someone on your shoulder watching what you're doing, looking for mistakes maybe, looking for corrections, looking for anything you want. It's up to your imagination. I'm just enabling you with this capability of now tapping in to your either a single screenshot of your desktop or a streaming over a period of time. All right, now let's check out what this had to say. Okay, we're gonna break out of this. And let's take a look. So, oh my goodness. All right, initial state. The user John Capobianco starts by viewing his own profile page, formerly Twitter, and it has the link. It has the link. His profile page is visible showing his bio, follower count, recent posts. Switches to the terminal, executing a command, and it shows the screen share command. This executes the screen sharing recording. Switches back to the web browser. Clicks post. Typing the message, hello world, Gemini CLI is watching me post this X. Amazing. Watch the video for more. Publishing the post, confirmation, and oh my goodness, does it actually have the post? Can I click this link and follow this? Oh, boo, boo, that's not, that it didn't have the number right. Uh, what's wrong with the number? How close are we? I mean, it looks right. Hang on. Why didn't that take me there? Okay, so the numbers are off by a little bit, a little bit. All right, well, still, all right, I want to get hung up on that. And then it goes back into recording mode in a loop. So it gives you the explanation and then starts recording again. That's a conscious design decision. You could just have it record and then stop or like I did. But that's pretty close. I mean, that's pretty neat that it almost had the URL right there. Um, but it did have the exact post and followed me with what I was doing. So now let's peel back the onion. How was this done? All right. So now what I love about extensions is, and I'm going to, I'll start from scratch. Let me like start completely from scratch to show you. So if I switch to my dot Gemini folder, and go into VS Code, there's going to be a new screen share folder here. Now there's my talk extension. You can see I don't have a commands folder anymore. And I think my settings is empty. I don't think I have any MCPs in there anymore. I'm going to be migrating them all to extensions, uh, including my PyETS MCP. I'm going to make that an extension instead, uh, probably later tonight. But let's delete screen share. All right, now to show you that screen share is gone, if I go back into, uh, let's just go to that jamming folder. Jamming is just a, a folder for me to work in um, while I mess around. So if I go back into Gemini YOLO mode, that slash screen share is gone. All right, in the slash MCP, there is no more MCP. Right, so now how do I do it? And then I'll go right to my GitHub to show you this. GitHub, repositories, screen share extension. We're not gonna get clone it. We're gonna run this command right here. Now, if you don't have an extensions folder, make the extensions folder first. But because I already have an extensions folder, I'm gonna run this command from root. And now if I go back into jamming and run YOLO mode, I'm going to have that capability. That's how easy it is for you to do this. 
make the directory, clone the repo, and boom, you can use screen share, vision, listen, uh, talk, any of my current extensions. And there it is, right? And it all works. Now, what goes into this code, I'll show you. If we go to the extensions, screen share, this is really, really exciting for me. And for you, everyone should be really excited and jacked up about this. It's a really elegant approach. So, right, you saw I didn't have this screen share folder. I've just get cloned it in. It comes with the commands folder, which adds the slash commands. You saw me use capture and device and help and stream. Okay, it comes with the MCP code in the form of this Python code that I've written. That's a fast MCP server with various tools decorated. All right, and then I start and run the MCP server. The requirements file here and the run bash script sets up the virtual environment and everything that's needed to run the MCP. You can see the virtual environment folder here. I had nothing to do with that. I made the requirements, I made a bash shell to set all this up, and then ultimately we run the MCP server in the virtual environment that we're gonna create here. All right? Now, what really is important is this Gemini extension JSON. This tells Gemini it has an extension called Screen Share that has an MCP called Screen Share and to set up the MCP, go ahead and run that bash script. The context for this extension is in the Gemini MD file, which describes how it all works in Markdown. Now I have the readme that explains for now how to do this. My understanding is from Google that you're gonna say Gemini extensions and install source and point to this repo and that will take care of all of this without any friction at all. Uh, it's, it is a remarkable time to be a developer because we're scaffolding further up in abstractions. We had LLMs, we had RAG, we had MCP, we had A to A, we have React agents like Gemini CLI, which you could plug MCPs into, which now you can totally abstract, including slash commands and MCPs inside of an extension like a VS Code extension. Get Gemini CLI, plug in your extension, start taking screenshots and talking to your desktop. Start using your webcam. Start using your microphone and your headset. Start using sign language. This is the time to be alive in this space. All right? And I am excited and I'm here to help you. This video should do it. That's all you should really need. But if you do need more help, send me a message and say I'm a Gemini CLI user, uh, or I'm interested in Selector AI Ops, or I'm interested in Packet Copilot, I'm interested in network automation. Ask the community. I've helped hundreds of people. I've gone out of my way to empower people. There should be no barriers. Install Gemini CLI. Use your Google if you don't have a Gemini key or get a key for the small investment. Plug in MCPs or skip MCPs and start plugging in extensions. Start making your own extensions. There's going to be extension clearinghouses where people like me can publish our GitHub repositories that people like you can then simply install with a one-line command. I, I mean, I can't get enough of this. You saw me just chat, right? Just get AI to analyze what I was doing. I wanted to do this with like a CLI and an SSH session, having a bit of problem with some sandboxes and some stuff today, but I am going to record me using, you know, PyTS and other network automation or me at the CLI and have it record and analyze my CLI session. Just unlimited possibilities. So show me what you've done with this technology after you extend your Gemini CLI. Thank you.